Hello, this is Andy. This is Andy. <laughs> this is Andy. This is a 1972 Mercruiser 143 liter, and I wanted to do a short video about um, getting your engine aligned after you might have done some work. In my case, I pulled the engine to uh, fix the motor mounts. That'll hopefully solve a, a different issue. But when I got it back all together, I could not, for the life of me, get my lower unit on. Um, and I did have an engine alignment tool. So if you don't have one of these. Um, get one if you're going to do any engine work and basically take the tool in and usually I, the first time I've used this tool was when I had to replace a gimbal bearing and I tried replacing it without one and I could not get cut the engine on because I couldn't get the gimbal bearing aligned with the engine but basically what will happen is you'll put this tool in and I have a little mark that shows me out and you slide it in all the way and you should hear it set all the way and it should go very smoothly and it should seat all the way in um, and your engine's aligned with the gimbal bearing. Now, when I swapped the engine, put the, or, uh, put the new motor mounts in, put the engine back on, I could barely get this thing in. And then I started reading the indexing, and I could get it in an inch, and maybe an inch and a half, and I kept adjusting the engine and reading the indexing, and I'll talk about the indexing in a second. Um, and I got what I thought was all the way, but it was still kind of sticky, but I thought, oh, I must be close enough. And then I went to put the lower unit on, and I couldn't get it on. I couldn't get that last three quarters of an inch. And in fact, trying to pull it off, I could barely get the lower unit off. So uh, I finally had an epiphany, and this tool does come with um, a, uh, an adapter for pressing in your gimbal bearing, for centering your gimbal bearing and pressing it in. So let me just pop this on here. And oh, I did it the wrong way. And. So what I ended up doing, and this is what saved me, is I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe I got something wrong with my gimbal bearing or that's not just all the way. And I got it in close, but it was still tight. But this is the trick. Take it and heave on it, up and down, left and right. And I started heaving, and I could actually see the motor move a little bit. And that's all it took to get this nice, comfortable motion. And once I got that, I think I'm good to go. I just finished uh, working, changing the seals on my lower unit. I haven't put it on yet, but I think now it's in place to go. So, just a couple other things about reading this. And let me pop this off for a second. I guess I'll leave it on there. Um, so, you're going to see marks on here. And I would always forget what the marks mean when you're reading the indexing. So, I just drew them on here. And basically, if you've got marks on the top. So you put grease on the tool and you press it in there. If you've got um, etches or marks on the top, that means that the um, the front of the engine is too high. It's up like it's up like this and it's pressing against it and you've got to lower it. If the marks are on the bottom, the front of the engine is too low. And you can think of it this way. And of course it's raining. Here's your engine coupler and here's the shaft tool going in there. And if we're at an angle like this, if the top is too high, it's going to put, it's going to press the grease out of the way on the tool. If the top is too low, the front of the engine is too low, it's going to press the grease on the bottom. So if I press the grease, if I press the grease, I'm going to do it inward. You'll see, you'll see it makes the, I don't know if you can see that makes the mark on the grease, but that kind of makes sense. That's what's happening. If the marks are on the top, it's too high. And as you bring it down, and as you get it close to neutral in the right position, um, hopefully everything will slide in. So again, the key is absolutely get one of these engine alignment tools. And um, the other key is, again, this was the secret for me. Everything was failing. The secret was heaving up, down, left, right, just loosening a little bit. One other suggestion, on this boat, I had to redo the wood for the motor mount and I drilled where the old ones were. What I should have done is got this all aligned, then drilled the holes. It's starting to rain, I'll see you online.